Today, we are going to announce that the Coast Guard is offering $100,000 to qualified parties to place tidal generators in the waters off Eastport, Maine. One of the interesting things about Eastport is the old sow. This photo here shows the largest tidal vortex in North America. And you get the idea here about the immense power of the water that is up in that area and really only up in Eastport. So our goal is to work with partners to develop a plan to harness this power at the Coast Guard station. Good morning, my name is Jim Pino. I'm from Congresswoman Shelley Pingree's office. Uh, she regrets she couldn't be here today on Earth Day to celebrate this announcement with the Coast Guard. Um, and it is, uh, as it is Earth Day, it's fitting that we're here uh, for this announcement. Uh, she would, Congresswoman Pingree would like to commend the Coast Guard and Captain McPherson, not only for their service to our country, but also for taking the lead once again in environmental stewardship. Uh, is harnessing the uh, tidal power in Eastport to to power whatever they can at the station uh, is a is a great sign and, and it's a uh, tribute to the Coast Guard uh, thinking ahead on all our behalfs and she looks forward to working with you in the future to make this happen. Thanks. The Coast Guard has also been the leader in some of the older technologies. For instance, the Coast Guard has been a leader on solar power for over 20 years. 360 of our navigational buoys are solarized. As you can see on the pier here, uh, we have an example of some of those buoys here today. 60 of the 68 lighthouses are solar powered, and we're adding new elements every day. Maine has a, abundant wind power. We have two wind turbines. One is uh, behind me up on the tower. We installed it within the, the last month. Uh, we're really lucky to have so much wind here that is really making these, uh, these turbines very cost effective. This turbine costs $6,000 and it's running about 15 to 20 hours a day. We're saving about $200 a month and we'll be able to pay for that turbine in just a very short few years. My name is Cheryl Lehman. I'm from Senator Olympia Snow's office and I'm very uh, pleased to be here today and read a statement on her behalf. Senator Snow is delighted that the Coast Guard has taken these steps to help Maine become a leader in renewable energy. It makes perfect sense that the Coast Guard should tap into the vast power of Eastport's legendary tidal flows and Maine's coastal breezes to help power the stations with clean, renewable energy and electricity. The Senator would like to extend her thanks and congratulations to the Coast Guard and in particular to Captain McPherson for all their efforts in making this project a reality. Congratulations and thank you. Also in Southwest Harbor, we have abundant wind up there and we have one turbine there. Last uh, winter during the ice storm, the station was completely shut down with the exception of the wind turbine powering the computers at the station. So we do see a need for these types of turbines. We're gonna continue to get better equipment and continue to make this a sector-wide event. Good morning, my name is Sarah Holmbaum Lund and I represent Senator Susan Collins and I'm also pleased to be here and read a statement on the Senator's behalf. Volatility in oil prices imposes tremendous hardships on Maine families, truck drivers, farmers, fishermen, schools, small businesses, mills and factories. Simply put, we must produce more, use less and pursue alternative sources of energy. It is fitting that on Earth Day, the U.S. Coast Guard is affirming its commitment to alternative energy. I'm glad that the Coast Guard recognizes this immense potential and I support their efforts. Today's announcement that the Coast Guard will solicit applications for a tidal energy generator in Eastport is an exciting step forward, Maine to lead the nation in tidal energy development. The Coast Guard in Maine is a shining example of the type of actions we need. I applaud their leadership and will continue to work on make to advance these objectives at the federal level. Again, congratulations, best wishes, sincerely Susan Collins. US Senator, thank you. Hello, I'm Jennifer Pooger. I'm the Deputy Director of Governor Baldacci's Office of Energy Independence and Security. I'd like to thank you very much for having me here today uh, with the Coast Guard to celebrate Earth Day and this exciting announcement. This announcement really melds 
very well with the governor's existing um, initiative, the governor's Ocean Energy Task Force, which has been meeting since December to look at these opportunities for tidal and offshore wind and ocean energy power. So again, I'd like to commend the Coast Guard. We look forward to working with them in the future and all of our elected representatives and congratulate you. Thank you.